I am Sagar Chetani from Department of Electrical Engineering, GMIT. In today's session, we will do a convolution examples so or we will practice some examples on the convolution by using a four methods. Okay. In today's session, we will discuss only graphical method uh, in this particular case, and in the preceding lectures, we will discuss other three methods on this same question. Okay. So uh, the question is that find the convolution of x1 of n with the x2 of n we have to find the convolution of these two particular sequence, uh, sequences that is a x1 of n that is a 1 2 3 and x2 of n that is a, again 1 2 3 the origin of this particular equations are from 1 to 1 okay so this arrow shows the origin of this particular x1 means here will be 0, here will be 1, here will be 2. These are the location and this is the magnitude. And again, this is the magnitude of this particular sequence and the particular location will be shows by the arrow. Here is 0, here is location 1, here is location 2. So, first method that is a graphical method. So, what we will do, we will find the graphical graphics or we will draw the graph of this particular sequences by using the graphical conversion of x1 and x2. So let us draw our uh, x1 and then we will draw x2 and after that we will convolve both the signals. So as we have already discussed in our previous session that the standard convolution sum equation can be written as a y of n is equal to x1 convolving with the value of x2 of n. So this is our standard equation. but in the form of a summation, we can write this particular uh, sequence is like this. Summation from k is equal to minus infinity to infinity x1 of k into x2 of n minus k. Means we will replace these particular sequences uh, by in, uh, in we will convert this particular sequence in terms of k and these terms will be n minus k. So let us draw first this sequence that is the x1 of k by just replacing n with the value of k and then we will draw this particular sequence that is n minus k. So we will draw this sequence as n minus k. n is replaced with the n minus k. So let us draw first x1 of k. So x1 of k can be written as a, a, like this. This is our n axis or a k axis for particular case because after converting this graph it will have a some uh, change in variable that will be a k. So now onwards our independent variable will be k. So k will be on the x-axis. Okay. So let us draw 1, 2, 3 at the location of a 0, 1 and 2. So let us start from the location 0, then location 1 and then location 2. So location 0 will have a magnitude 1. Location 1 have a magnitude 2. And location 3 have magnitude 3. So location magnitude 1, magnitude 2 and magnitude 3. So this is our graph that is a x1 of n. Okay, x1 of n, this, this is our graph. Now let us draw x2 of n. x2 of n will be similar to this. Okay, x21 of n will be similar to this. So we does not have to uh, draw again and again. So I am just copy and paste this particular graph. So this is our uh, x2 of n, okay, x2 of k, for example, okay. And here we have x2 of k. But as we know that the x2, x2 of k is, uh, is represented by the n minus k. So what we have to do, we have x of x2 of k here. Now we have to fold this particular signal. So just to make this x2 of k to the x2 of minus k, what we have to do, we have to multiply the value minus 2 to there's all the individual uh, values that is present on the k axis so what we have to do we are just multiplying this k with the value of minus 1 okay so this is our 0 and now i am multiplying the k with the value negative 1 so this 0 will be 0 because 0 multiplied with the negative value it will give a 0 value so the location is 0 at the location of a 0, the magnitude is 1, so it will be as it is. So I am just writing this thing same. Okay. 
Now, in x2 of minus k, again this 1 will be multiplied by minus 1 negative sign. So, it will be, uh, it was present at the, well, at the location of 1. Now, in this particular case, it will be shifted to the negative value. Means, the magnitude of 2 will be shifted to minus 1. In the same, 2 will be shifted to minus 2 and it will be, uh, it will have same magnitude that is a 3. So, this is our second equation that is a x2 of minus k. Now, this value of n, if we add this value of n, then this graph will be shifted to the right side. Okay. So, this is our case number, uh, overall graph number 1 and this is our graph number 2. We are convolving these particular values or we are multiplying these particular values by just shifting this particular graph by putting a different values of n okay so this is our graphical representation and this is our mathematical representation so i am just uh, decomposing this uh, uh, overall summation to this individual value and then we will find uh, the different magnitudes of this particular graphs now let us decompose this sequence into this separate form from minus 2 to 2 just for our sake of simplicity we can also expand it from minus infinity to infinity okay but for this case we are just expanding it from minus 2 to 2 okay so just put the value of k is equal to minus 2 here and the write the same equation then put minus 1 and write the same equation 0 1 2 all these value from minus 2 to 2 you just have to uh, put all these value here and you have to uh, write a separate equation for the same okay so let us start from a minus infinity i am not writing for this value of a minus infinity so we are just considering the value in between minus 2 to 2 so just put the value of minus 2 uh, instead of the value of k so here we, it, this equation will be looks like x1 of minus 1 minus 2 into x2 of n minus 2 okay the plus x1 of minus 1 into x1 of n minus 1 okay here we have one thing that we have to take care about is here is a minus sign so if we are putting here minus 2 so it will becomes minus minus plus so here is n plus 2 here is a n plus 1 now just put the value k is equal to 0 so what we will have x1 of x1 of 0 into x2 of n minus 0 that is a x2 of n okay plus put value 1 that is x1 of 1 x1 of 1 into x2 of n minus 1 x2 of n minus 1 and then x1 of 2 into x2 of n minus minus plus 2 okay so okay sorry uh, here we just have to put the value of 2 so x1 of 2 into x2 of n minus 2 x2 of n minus 2 up to positive infinity so this is our uh, actual sequence of our graph and we have two particular values if we are adding the value of n here means if we are I am just raising same thing okay so okay we have this x2 of minus k if we are adding this value of n to this graph this graph will be shifted to the right side for example if we put here 1 then it will shifted by the value of 1 means this 0 will be on the location of 1 minus 1 will be on the location of 0 minus 2 will be on the location of minus 1 if we are putting these uh, n is equal to 2 then this particular graph will be shifted to the right side by the uh, by the step by 2 for example 0 if we if you put here 2 then it will be 0 will be shifted to the location of 2 and the minus 1 will be shifted to the location 1 and minus 2 will be shifted to the location 0 so these are sequence for different values of n we will shift our graph from left to right conditions now we have one sequence that has uh, some locations see here x1 has a minus 2 x2 has a n plus 2 means this particular case is shifted this is the case in which this graph is shifted by the location of 2 in this case see here x1 of minus 1 
means we have to multiply this x1 of minus 1 means the location uh, that is a minus 1 at the location of a minus 1 if we have any magnitude then we have to put here but see here in our question we does not have value before the 0 means left side of the 0 we does not have any value so directly we can put or we can write here as a 0 for x of minus 2 x of minus 2 means at the location of minus 2 we does not have anything so I am just writing here directly 0 for the x1 of minus 1 again we does not have any magnitude so we directly have to write 0 and at the location of a 0 we have a magnitude 1 so I am just writing here 1 ok we will do same calculation after this completion but uh, for now we are just collecting our data that is required for the convolution for the x1 of 1 means at the location of a 1 we have some magnitude that is 2 and at the location of a 2 that is x1 of 2 so at the x1 of 2 we have magnitude 3 so see here we have just considered the some magnitude at particular locations okay and at the location of n plus 2 n plus 1 n and minus 1 n minus 2 it is shifting to the right side means that we have already discussed in our previous sessions okay so this is our y of n for all these value or all the different values of n we have some sort of data for our convolution now let us consider uh, different values from 0 to n okay this is our standard sequence for different values of n we will have a different output and that output will give our actual result and convolution of this particular sequence now what we will have to do we will put uh, some separate values of n or different values of n and we will write the sequence again and again if we have some finite values in between them then we will consider see here in this particular case for any value of n if the value of this particular point is finite then it will be multiplied with the zero so we never have to consider this type of term because it will give always zero because we know the value of zero this particular x1 of minus 2 at the particular graph at the minus 2 we always have a zero so we will never consider this kind of graph that's why i have not written all this term for this minus infinity terms so i have just uh, taken from minus 2 to 2 okay again at the value of minus 1 we have 0 so any value of x1 of n plus 1 will always give a multiplication of x1 of minus 1 is equal to 0 so again I am not considering these terms so that we have now x1 of 0 x2 of n x1 of 1 x2 of n minus 1 x1 of 2 x2 of n minus 2 for the minus 3 again we does not have any value so we are not considering any terms after the value of 2 ok so now let us start for a different kind uh, different values of n ok so let us put n is equal to 0 ok I am just writing, um, erasing this thing ok so we, we will put n is equal to 0 first then we will put n is equal to 1 and then we will put n is equal to 2 and then n is equal to 3 we know that n is equal to 3 does not exist because n is equal to 3 will not give any output n is equal to 3 has a 0 magnitude so we are not considering it ok n is equal to 0 1 2 what does it mean we, we are putting here 0 means this graph will be as it is we are putting here 1 it means this graph will be shifted little bit uh, or shifted by the value of 1 on the right side if we are put 2 then it will shift two points on the right side if we shift three then it will put shift on the three so i am just uh, sake of simplicity i am just considering here n is equal to three n is equal to four n is equal to five okay so this is our graphical method so for each and every step we will draw our graph so we have these two graphs that these are really important that is x1 of k and that is x2 of n minus k and the sequence that of convolution that we have expanded here ok now put n is equal to 0 in our equation number 1 so we will have a y of 0 is equal to x1 of 0 that will be as it is x1 of 0 will be as it is and x2 of n x2 of n n is equal to 0 so I am writing n is equal to 0 so x2 of 0 plus x1 of 1 
will be as it is here we are putting n is equal to 0 so it will give x2 of minus 1 plus x1 of 2 will be as it is because it does not contain the value of n and again I am just putting here n is equal to 0 so we will have a x2 is equal to minus 2 if we are putting here x1 of 3 okay if we have a one more term that is x1 of 3 then what we will have x1 of 3 we does not have one in our first graph that is x1 of n so the value of x1 of 3 will be 0 so we have just one sequence that is from 0 to minus 2 now from the graph we have some magnitude that is a x1 of 0 means at the location of 0 what x1 has at the location of x1 at the location of a 0 we have magnitude 1 so i am just writing x1 of 0 is equal to 1 into x2 of 0 so at the location of 0 x2 has okay x2 has x2 of n minus k has a magnitude 1 so again i am writing here 1 plus x1 of n x1 of n okay x1 of 1 that is a, at the location of a 1 so we have a magnitude 2 into at the location of minus 1 in the x2 graph at the location of a minus 1 in the x2 graph we have magnitude 2 plus at the location of x2 of 2 means in the second graph at the location of a 2 in the second graph at the location of a 2 we have 0 magnitude so i'm just writing here 0 and then x2 of minus 2 that uh, sorry here we have x1 okay there are some there may be some mistake okay x1 of 2 where we have a magnitude 3 into x2 of minus 2 at the location of x2 of minus 2 we have a magnitude 3 so again it is multiplied by the value of 3 okay now let us sum sum up all the thing 1 into 1 that will be 1 2 into 2 that is a 4 and 3 into 3 that is a 9 so it will gives a value of 14 so we can find we can conclude that at the location of a zero we will have a magnitude of 40 after convolving our two signals okay now put the value of one in this particular graph so what we will have y of one is equal to x1 of 1 into x2 of okay see this particular sequence here yes x1 we are just putting here uh, x, x1 of 0 will be as it is here x2 of n n means 1 so x2 of 1 plus x1 of 1 will be as it is and x2 of n minus 1 means 1 minus 1 that is again x2 of 0 plus x1 of 2 into x2 of 1 minus 2 1 minus 2 that is a minus 1 and then if we if we are putting the value um, after this particular 3 then what we will have x1 of 3 and into x2 of 1 minus 3 that is a minus 2 so x1 of 3 that is a 0 into something so we will have at the output side is a zero so we are not writing after this sequence okay so x1 of zero is one okay see this our graph again okay i have to just copy and paste our graph below our equation so that we does not have to move again and again okay this is our graph that is x1 of n okay i am just copying all this graph below side just for the sake of simplicity control c and then we have to do control v so this is our actual graphs and i am just erasing the value of x1 of n okay so this is our graph and again we does not require this so i am just erasing this graph okay so see here this is our x1 of k this is our x2 of k uh, at the x1 of 0 we have a magnitude 1 into x2 of n minus k so n minus k is equal to 1 so what we have to do we have to see the location of 1 
we have a magnitude 0 so I just writing the 0 plus x1 of 1 x1 of 1 means this graph so at the location of 1 we have magnitude 2 into x2 of 0 x2 of 0 that is a 1 so here I am just writing 1 and then first graph has a location of 2 first graph has a location of 2 at the location of 2 we have magnitude 3 so I am just writing here 3 and then x2 of minus 1 so this is our x2 at the location of minus 1 we have magnitude 2 ok if we have a x1 of 3 so see here x1 of 3 is a 0 here so we does not require the extra terms here now just add all the terms that is 1 into 0 will give 0 2 into 1 will give 2 3 into 2 will give 6 so total will be 8 it means at the location of 1 we will have a some magnitude that is equal to 8 now let us consider for n is equal to 2 if we are putting here y is equal to uh, y of n n is replaced by 2 so we have y of 2 is equal to this now let us write this sequence again what we will have at the output side see here x1 of 0 x1 uh, x, x1 of 0 x1 of 1 x2 of 1 will be same so again i am just writing here x1 of 0 plus x1 of 1 plus x1 of 2 as it is now what we have to write we have to put the separate values of this x2 of n x2 of n minus 1 and x2 of n minus 3 we are just considering the value of 2 so what we will have at the output side that is a plus x2 of uh, 2 x2 of 2 plus x1 x2 of 2 minus 1 that is 1 so here we will have x1 uh, x2 of 1 okay here 1 2 1 2 and here 1 and here 2 minus 2 that is a 0 so x2 of 0 now let us collect some values from the graph x1 of a 0 x1 of a 0 we have a 1 into x2 of 2 x2 of 2 what we will have at the location of 2 we will have a 0 x1 of 1 at the location of 1 we have a magnitude 2 and at the 2 uh, x2 of 1 at the location of 1 we have magnitude again 0 and then x1 of 2 what we will have at the location of a 2 in the x1 we have a 3 magnitude and at the location of a 0 on the x2 we have 1 so 1 into 0 will 0 2 into 0 will 0 so 3 into 1 will give 3 means at the location of a 2 we will have a magnitude 3 and for all these value that is a greater than 2 will give a zero output for whole sequence so we does not require to draw the sequence again and again so let us draw our resultant graph after the convolution this is our end of the lecture so after this particular case we will not uh, require we not have to calculate uh, this particular sequence for n is equal to 3 n is equal to 4 n is equal to 5 or further to the infinity because it will gives always a zero value so now let us uh, draw our sequence that is n is equal to 0, n is equal to 1, and n is equal to 2 for all the values of k and all these values of n. So at the location of a 0, we have 14, at the location of 1, we have 8, and at the location of 2, we have 3. 14, 8, and 3, these are our magnitude. So at location 0, we have 14, at the location of 1, we have 8, and at the location of 2, we have so this is our resultant graph after convolving x1 of n to the x2 of n. So this is our answer of our question by using the graphical method. In the next session, we will discuss the same example by using a tabular method or a sequence method. Okay. Thank you so much. We will meet in our next session of convolution examples. Thank you so much.